This is a video to talk about the pro indicators from FX SSI. You might have been intrigued and what the pro indicators do and how to use them, um, but you're not entirely sure. You don't want to sign up yet. Uh, you probably just want to get more of an idea of what you're going to get when you sign up. Um, but before we talk about the sign up, remember that there is the QuasiDB code, which you know you guys should use, right? Because it's a huge discount, right? So do remember that. Um, so what we want to do is talk about the um, indicators. So you sign up using the QuasiDB code. You don't pay the full price. You just use the code. And um, what I'll we'll do is at a very high level uh, and briefly, I'll talk about each one of these indicators that you'll get and how to use them, right? So the current ratio is something that I would consider as the static um, sentiment. So you can see at this moment in time, the the current ratio of buyers and sellers and um, we know since the crowd are often wrong and especially wrong at extremes then we'll try and do the opposite so um, that tells us how they're positioned in this moment in time and you'll see this move over over time but it's just very um, it's a static uh, analysis um, so it's a little bit of information here and um, yeah, it's indicated for medium term trading, determine the trade direction and a quick assessment of a trend state. Right. So we'd see that there were over 50 percent. So it should be a sell. OK, um, but you'd, what you'd do over time, you'd ensure that, that 61 went to 62, that 62 went to 63, 63 went to 64. And that tells us that they're adding to their position. Right. Now, this is what it's very useful, but it does require you to keep an eye on it. All right, so um, the ratios are indicative of that movement. So I'll, I'll tell you about the ratios next. Um, so that's that. There's lots and lots of information, but we're going to keep it at a high level uh, analysis, okay? Uh, load of things here, right? And that's the equation, how it's the average line is formulated. There's more weight on Oanda and my FX book and um, less on FX Blue and FX SSI. The reason for it is that these are very popular brokers and they tend to be quite wrong. <laughs> Saxo Group are, are often quite correct, so that's interesting. However, let's go back to um, the other indicators. So we know this is like a snapshot sentiment. If we come down to ratios. Now this is the dynamic sentiment. And this tells us uh, the movement across time, uh, which is really awesome so you'd know already that something was a buy or a sell but if they add to that positioning then it's going to become you know the bias will become greater because the guys well what they'll do they'll um they'll hold on to their losses and thinking that it's going to reverse and it'll go in their favor and um well they just got terrible risk management as well um, those stops might be incredibly wide or no stops at all <laughs> Right, and if they don't have stops, then um, it's going to really go against them potentially, you know. But this will keep you on the right side of the trade, okay? Um, so this is the dynamic analysis. Um, this goes hand in hand with the ratio, the current ratios, right? So this tells us at a low level the movement across time, which is the dumb money flow, and the current ratio is the snapshot, like a photograph. This is like a, a video, watching a you know a moving picture evolve. And uh, what will happen is that the stop loss clusters will get probed. And when the stop loss clusters get probed, then we'll see a direct consequence on the ratios because when they get stopped out, they're no longer in the market. And so that's what we're seeing with the pound USD. Uh, we're going up to take stops. All right. Uh, so let's talk about the stop loss clusters. And um, there's a lot to talk about. Um, so these are the stop loss clusters. So when they've entered a short position, they've got their stops up there. And of course, naturally, the consequence is that it will eventually get their stops. <laughs> right? So we would have visibility of that. And so we would know where to target. Right. And of course, you know, it, it has to get their stops. When the majority forms like this, then it becomes like a very clear target um, in order to aim. And you could argue it's going to come up anyway, depends on what the currency pair is. And it is important to note this is for FX. We can't look at uh, commodities or indices. It's just uh, foreign exchange. Okay, so 
we would have a good idea where to target and also we would have a good idea where to place our stops. We would simply have ours um, not with the retail majority. Okay, so if you had your stops with them, then you're going to get probed. <laughs> right, so that's the stop loss clusters. This is a definite must alongside the current ratios and the ratios. And um, lots of information here, which I've gone, I talked about already on separate videos, but this is just going to be a high level overview of the indicators. And um, often you'll see a wick into um, some demand and it will just rally or it might just not wick into demand, it might just rally anyway, and you're like, what the, why Why did it do that? It's because it's a um, liquidity probe. And without this indicator, you wouldn't know. Right? Maybe that coincides with some demand, I'm, I'm not sure, it's hard to say, but if in case you wondered why it just like, propelled, it's because it took the stops, and it was job done, the score bullies got their lunch money, and up it goes, so it's really cool. And uh, obviously the order book as well, and uh, the other indicators will be on a separate video, but I just wanted to talk about at a high level what this offers. So this tells us current positions. On the right hand side, it's a histogram, and we can consider this as being a support when there's lots of retail guys stepping in at a particular price level. Because we know they're often wrong, then price is going to come against them. Have you ever entered a trade and it went wrong instantly? Um, that's because you entered with a, a majority. There's a big flux um, of uh, dumb liquidity that entered at the same point of you, and that's why it went wrong instantly. Uh, so having a look at the order book, we ensure you're on the right side. It might be counterintuitive to buy or sell, and you think, well, well, that's just crazy. It doesn't look like a buy, but that's the thing, is that if it doesn't look like a buy, it, it will be, because it's designed to um, mask what is going, what, you know, the intention. <laughs> Right, so uh, you look like it's quite bullish, uh, and it falls dramatically, you think, oh, it's gonna continue, but you'd have to look at the current ratios to see where the support is, because there's lots of people coming in to sell it, load of dumb money coming in to sell, we're gonna use that as a support. All right, so that's the current ratios, and this is the orders, so this is the stops, and the buy limits, and the sell limits, and you know, uh, sell stops, buy stops. Um, so we consider these as being a target. So this is the current state of the market, and this is where they're gonna exit or potentially enter. If you're smart, you place your orders to sell where the stops are gonna get triggered. All right, and that's something that we need to look at a little bit more in the Quasi DB service. We'll place orders at stop loss levels. Because obviously, if price is gonna come up to take the stops, what a great time to enter would be to place an order to sell you know, when they get liquidated, so, and you know, it comes down. Um, so that's the order book, it's a fantastic tool, and this updates regularly, and there's always patch updates as well, so these are always, always updated, in, you know, uh, frequently, and you'll see the market, how it's um, structured to engineer against the majority, there's 45% of people who are selling this market, they're at a loss, which is really scary, and, um, 16.5% of buyers are at a loss. So it's a big chunk of people losing money on this market. And so if we can see that, we'll do the opposite and then we you know, we should profit, you know, theoretically. And so that's that. So that what's really key is looking at the left-hand side for your exits and entry, and this is the current state of the market. Knowing that the retail guys are normally wrong, we can use it as a support or resistance. All right, it's very key and very powerful. So I'm going to do a, another video to talk about the other indicators, but these are definite musts and I thoroughly recommend um, downloading and using them. And don't forget, there is a free trial as well, um, seven day trial. So once you're happy with the trial, then you use the Quasi DB code and you know, you'll do okay. They've also got blog posts, uh, how to use um, tutorial videos. Um, you know, tools and how to use. It's just really, really good. So definitely bookmark, definitely try out the indicators. Uh, if you don't like them, you don't have to renew the trial, but I'm pretty sure you will want to renew, especially if you get a huge discount, which is a 70% discount. So I use the Quasi DB, the, the Quasi DB code and caps, and then you then that will work, All right? So just a quick overview of what you'll get when you subscribe to the pro indicators and um, 
have a look at the others at your leisure. I'll do a second video about the other pro indicators, um, but I wanted to keep this one quite short.